Welcome chosen ones. I have been waiting for you. You've been searching for answers for why you have been rejected, neglected, betrayed, hated for no apparent reason. Your heart is pure and you, you might be asking, why does God isolate you before he elevates you? And you want to know why he does it. You might be in a place of pain and loneliness, but you also want hope. God wants to show you off to the world. You don't want to feel isolated in your pain, do you? Relationships can be great joys and deep wounds. Whether it's losing a loved one, being betrayed, or ending a relationship, there is a pain that is not only physical but also emotional. It's natural to question why God doesn't intervene and help us through this pain. But we must remember that God is in control and has a purpose for everything that happens. If we don't respond with discernment and kindness, we're missing our purpose and calling. The Bible is filled with examples of times when God isolated you before he elevated you. The Apostle Paul suffered repeated imprisonment. Joseph was imprisoned for 13 years, and Moses lived in relative obscurity for 40 years. The Bible is filled with examples of times when God isolated you before he elevated you. Isolation that God puts you through helps you grow in your relationship with God. He equips you to become the person God intended you to be. However, this process doesn't always come easily. Sometimes you will face times of isolation that will test your faith. That's when you need hope the most. God will use your struggles to prepare you for greater assignments.